Okay, so currently you would already see something like that for your group classes, right? Where you can essentially go and look at classes scheduled, how many capacity and book now. Um, with our appointment system, you, you have two ways to start booking it. One from this tab here, where I can essentially go to EMS, tennis court, booking, etc. Or the other starting point is from this page where I can now scroll. So today's session is all about services tied to a staff, which is things like uh, sports, massage therapy, injury, rehab. Um, the next video, I'm going to be talking a little bit more about how to set up facility rental, equipment rental, like uh, EMS and uh, bike rental. Yeah, so let's go in to sports massage. Immediately, you see now you present to your clients the ability to choose outlet first, followed by duration. So if I want a one hour sports therapy, so I choose this. And the system will immediately show me, okay, Adrian, here are the six people or six staff that are trained to perform sports massage therapy. So if you want to choose Adrian as the uh, therapist, you will choose a specific date. So of course I can choose whichever date I want, whichever time I want. And then the system will recognize that, hey, Adrian, it seems like uh, you already have valid memberships that can be utilized for sports massage. But at the same time, if you choose to have a drop-in price, you can go ahead and do that as well. So I'm gonna use my existing credit book now and done. That's how you book an appointment. In our back end, the most obvious thing you see is now I have the ability to filter by classes. I also now have the ability to filter by appointments. The key thing about appointments is you immediately see the name of the customer and the service they are booking. And it looks very different because appointment, you don't have to set up the individual sessions. You just have to set up shift, the working shift of uh, each staff. How do you do that? Essentially, the first thing you need to do, go to services, go to the appointments tab and let's create using the sports massage therapy. So give it a name, a description, images, category and subcategory. The next uh, section is where you determine what are the different duration available for uh, sports, sports massage therapy. I'm going to create a 30 minutes, a 45 minutes and a one hour. For the 30 minutes is $40, 45 minutes, $50, and for the one hour, $80. At the same time, I will allow people with credits to utilize their credit to book into the 30 minute session. And for the 45 minute, I do the same thing, but instead, I'm gonna take two credits instead of the usual one credit, right? And I save. And then for the one hour, I'm gonna then take Enable here and then choose to have three credits for everything. And basically, this is how you set up how much to charge, either by an existing package or by a drop in price. We are now working on memberships so that, um, come say a month from now, you can also actually allow the deduction from a membership, a recurring membership. Okay. So this is how you set up pricing. The next thing is essentially saying that for this particular sports massage therapy, these are all the staff that are trained to perform this therapy. Adrian, Brian, Esther, etc. Okay, after that, I go into options. And this is where I can um, do things like... Um, okay, so maybe in order to go for sports massage therapy, the client actually needs to go for some introduction class first as a prerequisite. So this is how you actually set up a prerequisite class. If you don't need a prerequisite, the first thing you need to do is to set up booking interval. Booking intervals are very, very easy to understand. You see here, this is 15 minutes. So what it tells the system is 
customers can actually book 9 a.m., 9.15, 9.30, 9.45, 10, 10, 15, etc. If I were to set this to 30 minutes apart, it will be 9, 9.30, 10, 10.30, etc. Okay. If you need to set a buffer time between two services so that your therapies have time to rest, this is how you set it up. You can also set up a minimum uh, minimum notice period so that your therapists don't get a last minute shot that somebody booked them for a two hour massage. So basically massage has to be booked one hour in advance, two hour in advance. And this is how it goes. And of course you have to, you can have ability to show this listing on the online store, which essentially is, there you go, this page. Yeah. So if you want to hide it from this page, and assign manually, you can do that as well. Now that you have set all this up, the next thing you need to do is essentially go into management, appointment availability. Um, if you look at here now, I have staff, equipment, and facility. Staff is performing a service. Equipment is, I can rent a bike, I can rent an EMS. Facility is, I can rent the entire yoga studio. I can rent a tennis court one, tennis court two, pedal court one, two, three, etc. The next video, I'm going to talk more about equipment and facility. So today is all about staff. So how staff works essentially is, first, you need to plan your working shift for your staff. So maybe I can delete Saturday and Sunday since... Um, Adrian won't be working on Saturday and Sunday. So on weekdays, he's he's working 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Or maybe I'll just say 9 p.m. to 7 p.m. I'm just going to copy all this to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. There. And I'm going to plan from today, 12 April, all the way to end of this month. And then after that, Adrian actually can do EMS. He can also do sports therapy and strength and conditioning, but he cannot do the rest. Okay, so this is how you assign what services Adrian can perform on these days. Yeah, now that you've done everything, everything is set up properly, you press and apply and you see immediately Saturday and Sunday, not, nobody can book Adrian's time because there's no shift plan. And on the individual days, as you can see, I have four out of eight services assigned. Maybe on Friday, Adrian tells you that um, because he hurt his hand or whatever, he won't be able to do massage and he can only do EMS. You can actually just on this specific day, say that he is only able to do two services out of the eight, while the rest of the days, four services out of the eight. And maybe if I go next week and then Adrian says on 17, he's actually not working, you can actually delete. And now nobody can book Adrian on the 17th of April. Yeah, now I'm going to go back to this week. And this is how you set up each and everybody's time. And basically, whatever you're doing here, you have to set up for each individual outlet. And this actually then corresponds to when I click into this, I want 30 minutes. How and why Adrian has the available time here is because of this setup here. Okay, so it's actually really, really easy um, to set this up.